been studying how I may compare this prison where I live unto the world. And for because the world is populous, and here is not a creature but myself, but I cannot do it. Yet I'll hammer it out. My brain, I'll prove the female to my soul. My soul the father, and these two beget a generation of still-breeding thoughts. These same thoughts people this little world. In, in, in humors, like the people of this world, for no thought is contented. Uh, the better sort, as thoughts of things divine are intermixed with scruples, and do set the word itself against the word, uh, as thus. <clears throat> come, little ones. And then again, oh, it is as hard to come as for a camel to thread the postern of a small needle's eye. <laughs> uh, thoughts tending to ambition, they do plot unlikely wonders. How these vain, weak nails may tear a passage through the flinty ribs of this hard world. <laughs> My ragged prison walls. And for they cannot die in their own pride. Uh, thoughts tending to content. They do flatter themselves, for they are not the first of fortune's slaves, nor shall not be the last, like silly beggars, who, sitting in the stocks, refuge their shame. Oh, that many have, and others must sit here. And in this thought they find a kind of ease, bearing their own misfortune on the back of such as have before endured the like. Thus play I in one person many people. And none contented, sometimes am I king. Then treason make me wish myself a beggar, and, well, so I am. And then crushing penury persuades me, I was better when a king. And am I king again, and by and by think I am unkinged by bawling brook. And straight I am nothing. Whatsoe'er I may be, nor I, nor any man, that but man is with nothing shall be pleased, till he be eased with being nothing. Music? Do I hear... Huh. Huh. <laughs> oh, keep time. <laughs> How sour sweet music is when time is broken, no proportion kept. So it is in the music of men's lives. Have I now the daintiness of ear to check time broke in a disordered string? But for the concord of my state and time, had not near to hear my true time broke. I wasted time, and now doth time waste to me, for time hath made me his numbering clock. My thoughts are minutes, and with sighs they jar their watches on unto mine eyes, the outward watch, where to my finger, like a dial's point, is pointing still and cleansing them from tears. Now, sir, the sound that tells what hour it is, our clamorous groans which strike upon my heart, which is the bell. So sighs and tears and groans show minutes, times, and hours. 
while my time runs posting on and bawling Brooke's proud joy, while I stand fooling here as Jack of the Clock. This music mads me, let it sound no more! For though it have hope madmen to their wits, in me it seems it shall make wise men mad. Yet blessing on his heart that gives it to me. For tis a sign of love. And love to Richard is a strange brooch in this all-hating world. 